Is Zachary Levy out as Shazam? Find out on another installment of what I'm calling Grifting Off the DCU. Chuck can't take the misinformation anymore, so he took to one of the stupid social media platforms and had a couple things to say in a two minute video. Mainly it boils down to, I'm not fired as of now, but I probably am. James Gunn's amazing and whatever he decides is ultimately for the best. And also, please hire me in the future because I want to be part of whatever you're building. That Those are the takeaways. And the big takeaway the internet had, specifically Twitter, was they're pissed that he chose the Suicide Squad over the original Suicide Squad. He liked the James Gunn version better. I thought that was kind of what everyone thought. But the Snyder cult is a very special breed that doesn't shut the fuck up and will continuously attack people that don't think BVS is a masterpiece. I genuinely feel bad for the Snyder cult. I just don't believe they're real people. I think they're bots or some sort of a thing that Zack built to prop himself up. Like, are these real people? If so, and you're one of them, I implore you to watch other movies. If you think the Justice League Snyder Cut or BVS Dawn of Justice is a deep, profound film, you have to have only seen like two movies in your life. There is so much better out there. This is so insane. It's been like a month since James Gunn has taken over as the head of the DCU and people pretend that it's scorched earth over there. Like this shit takes a week to get done. It's gonna take years for any of these plans to really see the light of day. 2023 is a complete wash. It's, it's the leftovers from the previous DCEU. You have Aquaman 2, you have The Flash. I think that's coming out still, I, I don't actually know. Blue Beetle and like one or two other random films coming out and then we might see some James Gunn stuff in 2024 or 2025, probably 2025 at the earliest. And yet every single day, there are multiple videos coming out like, this is what's happening. Everything's in chaos over at the DCU. Warner Brothers doesn't know what they're doing. Yeah, they do know. They do. And uh, to, to say otherwise is just a complete farce. It's just for views. The reason I keep putting out these videos is the exact same reason. For views. Because when I actually put out stuff that I'm proud of and has some quality content to it, no one seems to care. So I'm trapped in limbo, in my own personal hell, talking once again about the DCU. It's so pointlessly dumb, but people like drama. They love drama. So here it is, Zachary Levy talking about what the plans are for the future and where he sits in it, if at all. And, and that's it. Next week, we'll have something from Gal Gadot or maybe Jason Momoa. Perhaps Ezra Miller will come out of whatever cave he's been hiding in for the last few months and say something stupid as well. There's nothing but endless material for the next couple of years. And I'm here for it, baby. I'm here for it. Because I want people to subscribe to the channel for when I actually put out videos that I'm proud of. Talking about movies that I love, or bad movies, or just giving a movie review on something new that's not even superhero related. Because they exist. They exist. Until James Gunn says he's fired outright, it's all speculation, and that's all the internet pretty much provides nowadays. I myself think he's probably done as the character, and what's gonna happen is James Gunn's gonna build something brand new, and maybe in five or eight years, he's gonna go back to the Jason Momoa's or the Gal Gadot's or the Superman's or the Flash's and say, hey, we're gonna do multiverse, you guys are gonna have cameos, just like they did with No Way Home on the Marvel side of things, and then people can freak out because the old Snyder characters are back with the new younger cast, and it all just becomes the same thing again. And, uh... I'm not jaded or cynical at all. All right, thanks for watching the video. Make sure to roundhouse kick that subscribe button so you don't miss a movie update, review, rant, whatever. Like the video if you had a good time, and hopefully I see you soon. Take care. Thanks again for watching the video. I'm quickly gonna tell you some other places you can find me on a brand new channel, Adam After Dark, where I'm doing short two to four minute skits on random nonsense. It's a good time, so check me out there on YouTube. I'm also on Spotify now with the new podcast, Movies with My Black Friend. Me and my buddy DJ Bless talk about movies, nostalgia, things of that nature. You can find us on Spotify, you can find us on Apple and other music streaming services, I'm sure, I don't know. And I even have a Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. And what better way to ring in the year than by becoming a Patreon at $1 a month or $5. You could even join right here on YouTube via the join button. Either way, it helps me out. It's a nice gift and I really thank you for it.